Proud Cat Lover and today we're going to be making a caterpillar update because as you can see here and you really can't see it very well but when I zoom out you kind of can see all those little black spots there on that white piece of paper and I want to unzip this and get it down but it's too much of a pain in the butt but in this butterfly house there are approximately 34 cocoons 34 <laughs> that's how many have pupated so far and there's still a bunch of adults in here. Whoops, you can't see. Let me turn the flash off. Okay, that's better. So, there's still many, many adults in here, probably at least 20, that I have to feed every night. And more and more keep pupating. There's like two more that I can see right now. This one's being a rebel. He doesn't want to eat. He's climbing. But, um, yeah, I have to put fresh food in there every night. And I never thought that I would almost run out of coneflower leaves because I have like three bushes no, these guys are eating monsters. Like, there's at least 20 in here. And these are silvery spot butterflies. Or silver checker spot butterflies, sometimes they're called. And then these all in here are also the same. <laughs> so, I mean, I know not every single caterpillar is going to live. And not every single cocoon is probably going to hatch. But still, if all of these, or even half of them, got into their cocoons as well, there's probably going to be like a 100 butterflies that I'm going to be releasing. Oh my goodness. So that's the update on those guys. We're going to mosey on over here because we've got some monarch updates. Okay so real quick we'll say I moved the unexpected Cynthia moth into this little container just because it was in here and I can't put dirt in there and I don't know when it's going to be ready to go in its, into its cocoon so I stuck it in here so I could put dirt. And so the leaves wouldn't dry out as quickly because it doesn't eat very fast. So that's what I did with that one. And then in here we have all of the new babies. Okay, so all the babies in here are either small or they're eeny teeny babies. So as you can see here are some really tiny babies. And I have one in here that's actually smaller than those ones. Okay, there it is. Oops. It's right there. It's so cute. It already has his black stripes and everything. So I'll stick this back in here. I haven't counted how many, but I'm guessing there's probably at least because there was four babies I found tonight and there's already like four. So there's around eight babies in here. There's two really big ones in here and then I have nine eggs in there because when I go out to collect leaves, I find eggs. So let me check and make sure nothing is in the way and I will unzip this butterfly house. So these guys have grown quite a bit in the last few days. So this is the biggest one I want to show you. Um, I had two that died of sickness so not really sure what happened there so that's one reason I moved these guys to this container. I don't know they were in an M&M container and I don't know if there's like small traces of chocolate that got on the leaves or something even though I didn't think there was any in there. And so I just not wanting a chance getting these guys where they might die. So move them into a different container. But look how big this guy is. He is ginormous. Very nice big monarch caterpillar. The other one's almost as big but not quite there. But yeah, he's probably, oh, he's having a fit because I was petting him. They do that when they think another caterpillar's near them and they're like, okay, this is my leaf. Back off. But, um, he's probably a good two inches long, just to give you an idea of how big he is. Get him back in here. Whoop! Okay, but anyway, as I was saying, there originally was two more caterpillars that were with these guys before they were moved into this net. And they turned really dark, and I was reading in my um, butterfly group that when a monarch caterpillar looks black or a lot of black and not much white and yellow that they're sick so I went ahead and just took them outside and put them in the grass they were already just kind of laying there and they acted dead already even though they weren't so that's what happened I lost two and then once these three bigger babies that you can see here are bigger then they can go into the net with the bigger uh, babies just because Right now, I don't want them to have to compete for food with the larger adult caterpillars, I suppose you could say. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, I also had a moth that um, hatched out tonight. 
I didn't take any pictures because it was flying around the container and there was no way I was going to get a clear picture. So I'll just get a picture off of Google and I'll put it about right here. So that you guys can see what it looked like. I'll find one that looks just like it. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.